the way I see it. It, it breaks my heart. It's a federal law, but the state does not see it. I think we have, we have, we as the Napa Nation people have a right to protest to our state. Our people is being affected. We're just be, I keep saying we're just being mocked. My people are being mocked. We're being made fun of. We're just a money making business. That's the way I see it. But I really appreciate it if you guys would, would put some type of um, comment to the uh, Arizona Liquor Board. And, and say something on this on on our behalf. Should on the session of on the other session of base of EPA and Kitchener and all the Kansas case. Arinda, as a minister, really moves my heart to see these people. I know the answer, but it's it's really hard to get around to some of these people. And I've seen years my father. I bury, how can bury homeless and our people due to liquor. Aaron Hirwando, she should run has Ando, she's sister Twix at Naisa. She 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 became an alcoholic, destroyed her family. It happened to me. I lost a brother to drunk driver. I lost five family to drinking and driving. And I think it shouldn't just be a reservation thing, it should just be a statewide um, stronger rules on this. And my brother wasn't drinking. He was a very strong man, very talented person. But the person, uncoming person, the one that killed him. My family, my family, five men warriors, they never drank. In fact, the, the mother was a wife to minister. But the oncoming person is the one that killed this family. We need to make strong laws in the county and in the state. New Mexico has good laws. You to look at Utah laws. They have strong laws, and I think we should we shouldn't just think about what's going on with Red Barn. I think we should look at it as a statewide. Do something about it to make stronger laws where where um, people are not being um, affected by this, and just say, okay, you know, here's here's more liquor. I'm getting more cash, but in the areas of saying no, you're drunk. You don't need any more. You need to go home, and, and and so forth. I think we need to. That's what. That's my my views. I don't want it just a nationwide a reservation. I I want it a statewide, putting in stronger laws and rulings and regulations on on dispensing liquor. And um, these are my views, and and I really strongly believe in that. And I'm really the one that's pushing this, and I'm really glad the the law and order has has supported us and Nabi Iyantke has supported us and I really lobbied with them, with the um, Nabi Iyantke asking them, you know, and to, to help us and I really thank them. Thank yeah. you. Okay. <coughs> we have another person who wants to make a comment, Mr. Weller. My name is Farad Brown. I just wanted to make a brief statement and that's it. There's a fine line that government fulfills between individual responsibility and property rights, and I strongly caution um, any letter that's written to refrain from any suggestion that would adversely affect the property value of a liquor license, because that could create some standing for legal action. So I just want you to make sure that you that look at that issue before you move forward and include that in the letter. Thank you. There's no one else, then we'll take a vote here. All in favor to uh, disapprove the uh, oppose the renewal of liquor license for Red Barn, say aye. 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 Uh, that was not quite the motion, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we're approving the uh, county attorney to write a letter to Okay. Aye. Okay, good enough. Uh, Request the county attorney to uh, write a letter opposing the uh, liquor license. Say aye. 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 Oppose. The ayes have it. Three in favor. None opposed. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Item E. Uh, yes, 
guess Melton is here, then there's some other. Okay, who's going to? I'll let, I'll let, this is Reg Destry with the, with the Verizon putting this. Uh, my name is Reg Destry. I work with uh, Verizon Wireless. Um, we are proposing this uh, new tower along uh, 180. And uh, Mr. Allerton said there were a few uh, questions that had come up about the location since the Planning Zoning Commission approval. Uh, was it you gentlemen that had the question? Uh, Mr. Weller? Okay. Shall we get a motion first? <coughs> Mr. Chairman, uh, <coughs> go ahead and move that we approve uh, it looks like uh, the Planning and Zoning Commission has uh, unanimously uh, voted to approve the request, so I'll go ahead and move it that we approve our motion. Okay, there's a motion that was made by Mr. Shirley. Is there a second? Is there a second? Okay, with that, I'll go to second the motion. Okay, Mr. Weller, your comments and questions? Thank you. Uh, that was mistakenly. That was mistakenly. Thought that there would be a public hearing before the city gets to that comment. It was said that the city was doing it. I thought that it was bad. I also have a bit concerned that the presentation documents on the agenda review stated that there was more than one public hearing. I'm not sure that is correct. Just to point out, I want to proceed to the city speaker. Destry. I'm sorry, say that again. Uh, my last name is Destry, Mr. Roller. The, the building that's being placed here can support backhaul capability and also the actual coverage. The backhaul is uh, either via a fiber, hard fiber connection or microwave connection. This will be microwave connection. There are also radios in there that are used uh, to support the panel, the flat panel antennas, which are the ones that communicate with your phone, uh, your computer, and other devices. Uh, yes, Th this will likely have microwave backhaul uh, when it's initially built. There is fiber buried in the area, but we can't actually access that fiber at the moment. Okay, uh, well, this has this site will not impact backhaul at any other sites. Uh, this site will be a received site from uh, an existing site we have north of St. John's, which we call Witchwell, which uh, shoots, will shoot a microwave signal down to this site, which will allow it to operate uh, cell phones. Thank you. I, uh, I would, would you speak to the issue of 4G, whether this tower will support 4G, will it tower support 4G in the area? Um, yes, this site will be capable of uh, 4G, and in fact, the coverage map uh, that was provided. I don't. I believe you have seen the coverage map. That was uh, solely for 4G coverage. Um, that is part of the reason for the specific location of this site, is because uh, the hole in the 4G coverage that will be getting turned up uh, is most prominent in this exact location. Um, I think they may have turned Concho up to 4G recently, or else it would should be turned up in a month or two. Um, this will help the 4G coverage in the area, but that Concho tower operates independent of this one. But uh, I believe it's either been turned on or will soon be turned on with the 4G. Okay. Uh, 